yeah you can get a wriggle on that is for sure 27 mile an hour welcome back to the channel guys this is the cyrusha ranger 26 by 4 inch massive chunky tires it's a 750 or 250 watt version depending on where you are dual suspension electric mountain bike this is an absolute beast look at this frame it's got a 20 amp hour battery as well now there's also something potentially game changing about this e-bike which you don't see on a lot of e-bikes from china it's got proper torque based pedal assist so basically the harder you press on the pedals the more power you get it's not just if your legs are going around the back wheel is going to start turning and it's the reason most of the time i actually prefer a proper twist throttle because i think it's safer this one does have one in the box you can fit it but i had a lot of trouble getting this grip off so tight i don't know why they didn't use little kind of hex bolts on it anyway for this video i want to test this torque sensing pedal assist so i'm not too worried about that so anyway the first thing you really notice about this bike is the quality everything just seems just really kind of premium you've got this nice section here you know historically on some of these rear suspension e-bikes this section here is really flimsy and really thin it just looks a bit cheap this looks proper chunky and everything just looks like it's gonna actually put up with a bit of punishment i really like this as well it's kind of like an inbuilt kind of mud splat guard to protect the shock that's pretty nice you've got decent hydraulic brakes as well which are actually set up really nicely you know that's one of the things i always have problems with the brakes seats really nice got a nice vented bit in there it's actually really comfortable i've been riding it around for a little bit the screen's really nice as well apart from this error message up here which actually goes away after the initial sequence they should really kind of remove that um, nice battery gauge with quite a lot of resolution for the um, individual segments um, and generally yeah it just looks kind of a bit more kind of modern and and premium um, oh yeah look, look at that under there it looks lovely i'll leave that on for now just to protect it so this has got nine speeds as well pretty decent shifter up there and of course a nice quality bafang motor which shouldn't die on you now the only thing that looks cheap to me is that i don't know why they put these on these are horrible get rid of them now this section under here i'm presuming as well the torque assist goodness is and also the controller and stuff so that's pretty good with these little bolts here it should all be serviceable right let's take it for a rip right guys here we go then so i'm in pedal assist one i can feel that power already um obviously i'm, I'm in the sort of gear that i'd be in if i was you know riding this without any, any motor or anything like that um come out to a bit of an incline up here and yeah i'm starting to feel myself needing to pedal now so it's going to increase the pedal assist and just um let's go up here I've increased it out to three. See, that's like, you know, I'm going to get a bit of a workout at that level. That's absolutely fine. Let's just put it up to the highest. <laughs> yeah, you can really feel that, feel that power. Now, I haven't actually even thought about the um, the torque assist at, at this point because it's just because I've obviously been pedaling. So let's just see what happens. So look, my legs are going round. We've got a little bit of power coming on. And then if I just kind of like slightly wow that's that's really good actually if i really pedal hard you can hear the motor really kick in that's neat that's like having kind of a mid drive that's quiet that's really mad but right, let's change the change down the gears doesn't see what we about 20 20 mile an hour and i'm feeling like it's hitting a hitting a wall now it's hitting a wall at 15 15 and a half yeah, it's, it's backing off. Need to change that in the settings. I don't really want it limited to 15 and a half. Obviously, if you're on the road, you would, but we're not. So that's got bags of power. You can just feel that torque. It's absolutely wicked. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, I'm going to have a look, see if I can go through the menu, see if I can change this um, maximum speed, because... I want a bit more speed right this is a bit annoying i've actually sort of worked out look you can you can go into the menu system here and you can um you can actually sort of set the you can set the maximum speed limit to like 100 kilometers a, an hour which i'd already done that but that's not helping it's not making any difference it's not going faster than 15 and a half so i've just found this website which is actually the cyrus of bikes website um, and it's saying you've got to unconnect a wire, which is super flipping annoying because I'm out now. Um, I'll have to whiz back and do it because it's just behind that, I think, just behind that cover. That is a bit of a pain, but I understand why they're doing it. Right, so let's have a look at this then. 
see if we can get this sorted out. I think that's the red wire there, so we will be unclipping that. See what happens. Okay. That appears to have done the trick. I've got my lid on now. It's 22. Hey. Yeah, that's that's moving now. Yeah. That's what we want. Okay, cool. That's sorted that out then. So back to the ride. Got a nice lot of power now. So I'm just cruising now. Just my, I've got a little bit of resistance on the pedals. Um, but you know, just keeping a bit of, I mean, I'm actually gonna get some exercise doing this, which is a first. <laughs> um, but this is, it's feeling nice though. I tell you, it's got, the suspension's nice. And what with the fat sort of, whoa, got some air there as well. Right, so one thing about this, you do notice the weight. Um, it's weighing in about 30, I think, was it 33 kilos? I weighed it on one of those luggage scale things. It's weighing about 33 kilos, which is a lot. Um, but, you know, that's not a bad thing if, if you've got the power. You know, there's power behind it, so that's actually fine. Gives it a bit of presence. Um, doesn't have that sort of like motorcycle, sort of gyroscopical kind of effect that you'd get if you built something that weighs a little bit more. So you're still in kind of mountain bike territory, um, you know, like with the bumps here. So I might be able to just adjust this, adjust this compression. Let's see. Right. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, there's a significant difference between obviously that. So it's not just it's not just there for show. <laughs> like a lot of these so I can compress that down a little bit there's two settings on the rear suspension that one's like super hard and then that one's yeah that's giving it a bit bit of a fight so pulling away in, in sort of like the pedal assist fifth at full kind of you know power on the on the pedals it's whipping up speed I tell you that feels great yeah that's proper you could have a lot of fun with this guys because it's just these tires you could just you know breeze over breeze over stuff the other thing here turning circle that is not the best turning circle but then that is kind of like what you'd expect with a triple crown kind of um suspension setup you're never gonna be able to jump in the air and spin the handlebars around um so you know that is something to be aware of okay so on the track something to be said about having bigger wheels you know when you've been riding around sort of 20 inch wheels for quite a while it's just nice it's that stability this could be my new little thing riding this around because i quite like the fact that you've kind of got you know straight up here you know you've actually got you're actually pedaling rather than it just being like a throttle throttle powered bike which would be a lot of fun for it yeah brakes are good you get that turning circle there see you have a little bit of an issue with that but straight over that now i haven't put any slime in my tires so i'm probably winging it a bit here with all these there's a few little thorns and stuff it's a good little trail though this and use the gears as well get a bit of a uh, bit of action yeah i'm liking this this is nice right it's gonna be a bit sketch no oh, that's absolutely breezing that breezing it this is quite a steep hill so pedal assist, oh not, not even on the highest one, pedal assist five, happen to add a little bit of, bit of exercise, <laughs> right, nice, so if you want to twist and go this probably is not going to have enough power for just being a, a twist and go but as a mountain bike they have a lot of fun with this. 
on these. Whoa. Just slam this around, no problem at all. I can feel it, I can feel all this, all the suspension doing its job. Whew. Whew. I'm gonna have to take my coat off. Glad I didn't stick that extra layer on. So we're down to, we're only down to 97% battery. Right, let's take it in the highest, highest gear or lowest gear. And just cruise. So I'm not putting a lot of power on at the moment on the pedals. I'm just literally, you know, just my legs going round. That's the thing about pedal assist, because, oh, I'm out of breath. As I was saying, if you want your legs to go round, most pedal assist, when your legs go round, it just, it, it just activates the rear motor. And then, obviously, that rear motor power is governed by your, your pedal assist levels. Now, that's quite good if you want your legs just going round, and you set it to a level, and you just cruise along at like 15 mile an hour <laughs> um, or whatever. With this, you've actually got to put, you have actually got to put some pressure on to get the power. See, my legs are just going round and I'm in, I'm in pedal assist five. So it has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, when you want to go for it, you can just go, whoa. Yeah, <clears throat> this is wicked, love it. So just to uh, make you aware that I do get sent a lot of bikes and I obviously review them. Um, I don't get paid for the reviews, I literally just get the bike sent, which could be classed as getting paid for it, I suppose. Um, but basically, I only generally review stuff that I think is decent and worth reviewing or has got a point of difference. Um, and that's sort of kind of how, how it kind of keeps the channel going, you know? So I hope you trust my sort of opinions with these things. I'm not gonna say something's brilliant if it isn't, and I've already highlighted, obviously, some negatives with, um, you know, this already, but, you know, this is this is me just testing these bikes and just seeing what I find. Because um, a lot of people on that DK200 review were saying, oh, they're, they're, na they're naff, like, you know, they break, but that's not what I found. So, you know, that's, I'm just reporting what I find, basically, what I always have done. Anyway, enough of that, more about the bike. Um, Screen's nice, it's got like a nice readout on there. You could cover some real distance on this, it's comfortable. You know, you've got like a nice, nice amount of power for cruising around. If you want to have a little bit of a exercise, then you can, because you just, you know, give it some. <laughs> but if you had this on throttle, it would be a different animal completely, I think. It probably would feel a little bit underpowered, maybe, because of the weight. I mean, there's no nasty kind of noises or anything coming from the suspension. The suspension feels pretty decent. Um, it is all good in the hood, and I like the brakes. Right, guys, what else can we talk about? So, yeah, happy with the pedal assist. The pedal assist is working really good. Um, you know, it is in my mind that this has now got moving parts. You know, with a torque-based talk pedal assist, you've now got moving parts. So. How's that going to hold up overall, like long term? Don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's not a new thing, talk, talk assist really, but you know, it's been around a little while, but the, but the Chinese bikes have only really just started doing it. Um, and I think it's, it works. The implementation on this bike is actually really good. Um, you know, a lot of them try and sort of emulate a kind of pedal assist, torque based pedal assist on the non torque bikes but you know like with just a normal pedal assist ring that goes on the uh, crank and then it just detects if your legs are going around and then that's just basically what it is um, and then they sort of you know try and tweak the algorithm and how that works and translates but you always end up with issues with that um, because you can get like runaways where you just turn the pedal once and then it thinks you you know it just lays on the power and the bike goes lunging forward that's why I was saying it's, it's actually dangerous um, that but this this is implemented well and of course you've got the sensors on the brakes as well so when you squeeze a brake it's just going to cut the power completely um, but yeah overall implemented well we're going to start doing the, these sort of torque based um, systems on our own kits as well so that's going to be going to be good but it's, it's, a, it's a fairly decent ride over here 
uh, you know, this suspension is not bad at all. It's not Fox level or anything like that, but it's it's um it's doing the job. It's doing the job. This is quite an expensive bike actually to buy as well. It's about two thousand three three hundred or something. You'll probably find a deal um, somewhere, but yeah. So it's not the cheapest bike in the world, but it's quite a lot of bike for the money. I would say. Um, you know, when you're thinking, okay, you're not going to get a super light bike for, for this sort of money. You're not going to get anything kind of carbon or anything like that. But thank you. But you know, it's it, it is what it is. You can use the gears nicely. That's what I do like about it. And when you want a bit of power, you can just go through the gears. So you're getting a bit of exercise, and you're not going to get as bored as you would quickly. <laughs> On a normal bike that's the kind of thing i would have been well tired by now and then i would have stopped but just drawing out that exercise is going to get you get your heart rate up for longer which has got to be a good thing right and you look the part because this bike looks like nuts so guys i've been having so much fun i forgot to even do any 360 footage <laughs> So you can see what the bike looks like from other angles. Um, it, it looks great. I think the bike looks brilliant. But so much fun. Just a little bit different, you know. I've um, been riding a lot of these 20 inch kind of fat bike stuff, which is, is great for getting around town um, and getting about and all that sort of stuff. But this is sort of taking me back to the old the old vapor days, you know. <laughs> bit of a uh, bit of off road. Absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and give you some visuals. We are on 90% battery. Oh, 91% has it's gone up. The voltage has risen up a bit. I mean, you know, this is this is amazing. 20 amp hour battery. Whoa, I missed the squirrel. Running for his life there. Yeah, so you know, like just just absolutely brilliant. That yeah, so you know, 20 amp hour battery is kind of becoming the de facto standard now not with a huge price increase either big old battery so like up this hill I'm having to I'm having to pedal so you know you're feeling the weight of the bike a bit but you know that's that's fine it's not good you're not going to struggle to get up any hill and if you're tired you could just you know you could make it up the hill you know, you don't have to put in a lot of effort. It's lovely. Hello. Nice bike. Too. Thanks, mate. Gets a seal of approval. A lot of come this way, I can see my tracks.
gone down to 85 percent now um just you know from giving it some beans so the voltage is obviously dropping a little bit but even so i don't know how long i've been out i've done 8.7 miles we'll take off a mile of that for, i was doing i did about a mile of that before starting this video but yeah you can get a wriggle on that is for sure 27 mile an hour oh it's flying yeah Eighty three percent ten miles. And when I said I'd put the uh, the miles on already put a mile on it, it's actually on that charge anyway, so that is included. So overall guys, super impressed. I think I might keep this one. As I say that about all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start getting getting rid of some bites soon. I've got way too many. But anyway guys, this is a definite winner. We'll see how it holds up long term. I wanna see how that suspension holds up. Like you know, keep bashing away at, at all those bumps. We'll have to see what the quality is like, but it's a good start. It's lovely to look at though, isn't it? Right, catch you next time.